things can really change for you. Where your life can properly become something. Where you can watch yourself succeed. See yourself as more than you are. See yourself as a vessel. A vessel of you. Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I feel like I am not here today. So my Zooms are always a mumble jumbo. I apologize for what today is going to be. I was so busy doing something and all of a sudden I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's almost 1130. I have to go to the bathroom. So I quick ran to the bathroom and I made it in time and I was so excited. I thought I was going to be late. So you guys get me. I'm not late. So I'm so excited. All right. So how was everyone's weekend? Good? Yeah, you guys are quiet. Am I on mute? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking that I'm just talking to myself because everybody is just in la la land today. No, I think we're all on mute. That's why. <laughs> oh, well, none of you guys were even like smiling or anything. You were just like, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. well, I was just wondering if I was just talking to myself this morning, like usual. But I guess right. it's not shining as bright today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so cold in my office. I cannot wait. I got a little sunburn today down in Arizona, or this weekend down in Arizona. I. But it looks that, good. Your cheeks look rosy. Yeah, yeah. It's my nose. Um, so, so I'm getting a little color. So it's making me excited for the warm weather to come. That's awesome. Yes, yes. So we are going to talk about the subconscious marketing. Um, we're going to talk about the the kind of freaky part about marketing. Um, this is this is kind of the the cool part about marketing, and um, yeah, just just the freaky part of. I like to call it like the big brother of marketing and, and ways to figure out how, how to get people, people's attention without knowing it. Um, so I'm kind of excited to bring, bring this to you guys today. And there are a couple tools that we have within Wardly that we can use. Um, but there are also other ways that we can we can optimize this as well um so we don't have we don't have to use the tools within wardly but they are great um just just other ways and you guys have been hearing me say that throughout all of my um zooms and everything like that and by the way who's new here to my zooms um you are not you <laughs> raise your hand and you're not no i was here last one so this is like the second one no, but that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I see anyone really new, new. Um, okay, so that's good. We got that out of the way. Um, if you are new here, please, if I mention anything that you guys have a question on, go ahead and take yourself off of mute and um, shout it out. I don't look at my chats very often, so I want you guys to ask the question immediately. Um, so therefore, we have that answer right away so we don't have to go back. Um, I am more than okay to go ahead and stop what I am doing to show you something um, rather than going back and backtracking and everything like that. So we are going to jump into it and how to optimize conversions with subconscious marketing. Consumer psycho psychology is all the hype at the moment as an increasing number of marketers are driven to understand why consumers make the decision they do. But what exactly is subconscious marketing and how is it relevant to your job as a marketer? By becoming aware of how the subconscious mind drives behavior, you can better understand what makes your customer tick and what makes them click. Armed with the knowledge, you can rest assured that your campaigns are not in vain and result in conversion all through the sales funnel. What exactly is subconscious? Is the subconscious? For a visual explanation of the subconscious, let's turn to the, although at times a bit questionable, Sigmund Freud. Freud argued that your mind resembles an iceberg, which is split into three distinct parts. The 
the vis visible tip of the iceberg represents the conscious mind. Decisions from your conscious are results of willpower or logic. For example, thinking about what you'll cook for dinner or solving a complicated math problem. Beneath the tip and just within reach of the surface is the pre-conscious mind. The pre-conscious mind is made up of information that you know and can access, like your mother's birthday, but might not be actively considering. The most substantial part of the iceberg that plunges deep into the water represents the subconscious. The instinct for survival and emotional dive, drive, this area, come on, just wait, sorry, my computer's being crazy. Okay, the instinct for survival and emotion, emotions drive this area of the mind, and these instincts in turn prompt conscious behavior. Isn't that crazy how that works? I thought that that was fascinating. How the subconscious drives decisions. Neuroscientists found that decisions are made in your subconscious mind far before you are consciously aware of it. This explains why people will often say one thing, I have a conscious thought and do something completely different. Autopilot simply takes over, sometimes preventing you from noticing that your behavior contradicts your word. This partly explains why so many diets fail. Someone will swear off junk food, but then as they stand in the grocery line, they look down and find that bag of chips staring back at them. And suddenly contradicting behaviors is triggered. This person may have been exposed to different aspects of that chip brand's marketing thought or throughout their day, their day or grocery store visit. Their subconscious picked up on these environmental cues and prompt behavior without the conscious realizing what was happening. Triggering the subconscious mind through emotion. What makes adjusting marketing efforts to trigger subconscious decision make it even more compelling is the impact it has on emotion. Neuroscience research shows that when your subconscious identifies a way to fulfill a goal, it will produce a positive emotion. This in turn triggers a decision to reach goal fulfillment. The same goes for when it identifies something that will prevent goal fulfillment. A negative emotion is created and a decision is to avoid the behavior occurs. Emotion drives behavior. If your brand's message successfully appeals to a person's subconscious emotion, their behavior will be nudged in the preferred direction. But keep in mind, there is no one size fits all approach to this. Everyone is different and this attracted to different psychological principles. Can you guys tell I have a list today? I burnt my tongue on hot chocolate at my baseball game this weekend. And now I have this big, huge sore on my tongue and now I'm lisping. I can tell as I'm talking that I'm lisping. Okay, I'm glad you guys are not on, like noticing. How <laughs> behavior marketing leverages the subconscious. There are countless examples of marketers using subconscious triggers to their advantage from a decision as simple as using specific colors to prompting behavior with goal fulfillment driving copy. Speaking to the subconscious is not a new trick in the book. I listed two techniques you can use to appeal to your customers on a deeper level level with behavioral marketing. And so these are two that I found are great ways to get into the subconscious for marketing, especially for real estate. Um, and it's crazy on when you think about them on how much you see them around and they actually really, really work. So when you're thinking about your marketing as a real estate agent, think about um, what I am gonna show you. And I know that you probably think about one a lot because um, I see it all the time. And you probably wonder why you do it um, because you really probably don't, but you're going to know as soon as I say it. Um, so the first one is color psycholo psychology, psychologically, duh. Okay. Have you ever noticed that many of the social media platforms use the color blue? It's so true. Um, you have Facebook, you have Twitter, Wardley even uses blue. And I didn't even know that. Um, crazy. Well, it's not entirely a happy coincidence. Sure, Twitter uses blue to symbolize the blue sky to match their bird, 
and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg is red green colorblind, so blue was also a natural a natural choice. But luckily for these brands, blue means more than just a practical fit. The the that fit. This color is known to symbolize comfort, trust, and most importantly, communication. This color works for many companies because it is welcoming color that portrays it is both safe and reliable. Plus, it is not too present and can easily fade into the background when the viewer switches their attention to certain information. Every color in the rainbow can invoke different emotions or drives. It's just a matter of defining what tone you want to set in the minds of your audience. Um, and I went on to a color psychology online and using reds, using reds, um, I'm sure you could kind of think about what reds mean. Um, reds mean a, like alert, danger, um, you know, reds are stop, red, you know, think of that. Greens are go, greens, greens mean go. Green. So think about those colors when you use them. Um, it, it's crazy. So search up color psychology and and look at those and what they mean. Um, pink, pink was one that was not a fan. People were not a fan of pink. Um, I also found that here targeting women, if you're going to target women, colors women love the most are blue, purple, and green. Colors women hate the most are orange, brown, and gray targeting men. They love blue, green, and black. They hate brown, orange, and purple. So obviously, if we're targeting both, so we can, we're safe with blue and green, and we should not be doing orange and brown, um, because they both hate orange and brown, and they both love blue and green. So those are the two colors that you are safe with, and those are the two colors that we should probably not touch on. Um, so I found that that was really, really interesting. Um, Cause if you look at it, what Walmart is blue, um, Target's red, which is weird because Target is probably one of the women's favorite stores out there. Um, it doesn't tell us to stop. It tells us come in, come in, spend money. You know, you go in for a bottle of shampoo and you come out with $200 receipt. Um, so I don't understand why Target went with red. Um, but I found this really interesting. So go online, like I said, and do find that color um, swatch. And I want to show you something else while I'm on it. I let me do this. I saved also this here. Oh, it's going to pull up on the other side. Um, so this is colors as well. Um, so look at this pink. So pink is loathing, disgust, and boredom. I would never ever think of pink as that. Um, red, range, anger, annoyance, um, which I could kind of see that. Yellow, joy, yes. Um, green is trust, acceptance, admiration. Um, if you get into the darker, it's terror and fear. Um, I can see the blue a little bit as grief, but I don't see that as much grief. The blues kind of surprised me a little bit on that. I see blues as, like they said, as the trust and things like that as well. So I could see the blue, green, yellows is probably your top, your top colors to go with. Um, but pink really surprised me as your disgust and your boredom. I don't see pink as disgust and boredom, but I thought that that was funny. So I had to share that. Um, and then I also found this as well it's showing that um what colors men and women prefer so the the men prefer 42 percent blue women 29 blue so it looks like the blues purples i mean 12 percent of men purple but i mean it's still not a one percent or eight percent um reds are still down there yellows so I think you'd be pretty safe with your purples, blues, and greens in this. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I played around with it quite a bit this morning. I thought that was a interesting. I had fun with it. So 
anyway, persuasive pricing. So this is my second one. And, and this is where I thought that you guys probably knew the, the whole 99 um, price, the rule of nines. Um, how many of you guys use the nine rule um, as far as pricing homes? Um, you guys know that putting a nine in there is kind of more attractive. Any of you guys? No? All right. There's a lot going on behind the scenes when you're exposed to a price. The price of a product can ask as many things, an indication of quality, reference point, or anchor. Sign of a good deal. The rule of a nine. Ah, uh, yes. The, that predictable 99 price offer offering we see so often. But have you ever wondered about the psycho psychology behind it? Um, you see, I mean, you go to the store and you see something for $9.99 and you see something for $10. You're going to get something for $9.99 and not $10 because you see the $9.99. You're like, that's an amazing deal. But literally, it's a one cent, one cent. Um, so when you price your guys' home for you know, $999.99 or nine hundred. Nine hundred thousand, nine hundred, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Uh, it looks better than all ones or all zeros or whatever it is. It's crazy. Ending in a nine is so much more attractive. Researchers conducted by the University of Chicago and MIT showed that sending a large U.S. mail order with the price ending in a nine, as opposed to a whole number, actually resulted in forty percent higher sales. So prices that were $39 actually sold more than a price that were only $34. In William Poundstone's book, Priceless, he calls this charm pricing. Overall, Poundstone argues that this kind of persuasive pricing increases sales by 24% compared to a normally rounded price. So this is something, so when you guys see, like, I don't know if you guys watch Million Dollar Listing or something like that, um, on TLC or I can't remember what show or what thing it's on. Um, they always talk about their pricing and when they're sitting down with their clients and they're like, I want to throw a nine in there. I want to make sure that it's 89. I want to make sure that it's a nine. I mean, look at that person. They, they bought something for $39 uh, versus $34 just because it has that nine, something about a nine in that subconscious makes them want to buy it and it attracts them more. So when you are sitting down with your seller, throw that nine in there. You know, if they say, well, you know, I'm thinking um, about a $340,000 that I would like for my house. You know, say, well, how about we go for 300 and, what did I say, 340,000? So 339,999, um, those nines are attractive. So think of that, you know, just go down that, just that little bit. So you show those nines, um, cause that is going to attract those sellers. If you go on to the MLS, you're going to see all those nines. At least you should, if they are a smart, um, real estate agent, they should be putting nines in them. If you go on to, like I said, million dollar listing. So it's Josh Altman. Um, by the way, I have a funny story. If you did not see my Facebook post about Josh Altman, do any of you guys know who Josh Altman is? Karen, you do? Okay. So he's on million dollar listing. So it's this TLC show. He is a very, very, very high end uh, real estate agent out in Beverly Hills. And so we were just out there at the beginning of February. And I'm like, I got to go by Josh Altman's office. I have to, I have to. So I went by Josh Altman's office and I sat out there and I saw his Rolls Royce sitting out there. And I am like, I have watched the seasons from season one. And so I know what he drives. Like I know what he drives. So I'm like, Oh my God, that's his car. That's his car. So I roll down the window and I'm like, Josh Altman, are you there? Come out. And like, I'm just screaming at the top of my lungs because I want to see him. And so his office is to the left of me because I'm parked this way. And so I look at my friend, I'm like, take a picture of me in front of his Rolls Royce. So 
So I go out and I take a picture in front of the Rolls Royce and we come back to the car and there's this guy that's walking this way and my friend falls like falls on a crack in the road and falls into this guy and she's like oh my gosh I'm so sorry he goes whoa what a fall and all of a sudden we're just laughing like pee in our pants laughing because she tripped and all of a sudden this guy gets into the freaking Rolls Royce and drives away we look at each other we're like you just fell into Josh Altman we're like are you kidding me <sighs> So she fell into Josh Altman and this guy that is like worth millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars selling real estate. And I was so upset that we did not get to see him other than she fallen in front of him and we did not get to say hi other than, oops, I'm sorry, we fell in, we fell on you. Um, so yeah, that's my funny Josh Altman story. Um, but anyway, so if you if you go on to on to any of his listings or anything like that, you'll see that he has nines and hits. Um, it is it is a it's a kind of a real estate rule. Put nines in them, it attracts a buyer a lot better. Um, Nicole, I'm confused. So your friend actually fell into him, but you didn't get to say hello. No, because we didn't know it was him. How could you not know it was him? Because we were laughing so hard because he came from the opposite direction from his office. So we weren't, so there was a toy store. So there was a toy store on the other side of his office. And so he came from his other side. So we didn't, we were thinking that he'd be coming from his office. Well, come to find out on Instagram, his daughter, I think it was his daughter, his daughter was get, getting her hair cut for the very first time that day. So he was getting her a toy because she was getting her hair cut. So he was at the toy store across the road. And so he was coming from the opposite direction. So we weren't thinking that it was him. You're a stalker. Oh my gosh. I'm You're totally a stalker. a stalker. Totally. He's not safe. He needs bodyguards. The fact oh that you that I, so I text him right away on Instagram, and I'm like, "Did some old lady just fall into you?" <laughs> Her girl and my girl are in the back going, "Mom, stop!" <laughs> yeah, old lady, you're probably younger than he is, actually. Um, no, no. Oh no. Wow. Well. I I think I probably got ten years on him. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I need to try. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but good story. I did yeah. the same with Lisa Vanderpump. So. Oh, oh yeah, that would be a good one too. Yeah. All right. So with that, um, where was I? Now my head is all with Josh Altman. I have Josh Altman in my head. You guys gotta Google him. Okay. Anyway. So how old Nicole, how old you are? If I'm you not don't mind telling you how old I am. You'd never ask a woman how okay. old. Okay, Josh Oldman is 41. Oh, he is older than I am. Yeah. Oh. What are I you talking about? That exactly. I didn't know what the hell you were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know he was that old. He what? is, but you know, it's just the uh, Self-care, that's all. Holy shnikes, I need to get I his really hair, like his face cream. And being a man. <clears throat> wow. wow. That old, really? Oh my God, I feel ancient. <laughs> and he just started family. Like, I have a yeah. here. I know, I was watching the show too from day one because I just love them, all of them, but yeah. <clears throat> wow, wow. I'd rather meet Frederick. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I rather I rather meet Flag actually. I like him. Flag, yeah. <laughs> He's a hoot. <laughs> He's a little sassy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I I, I I couldn't imagine what he would have done if my friend actually fell into him though. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, what Wardley has to offer is Boomerang and AdWorks. Are any of you guys familiar with either one of those? Are any of you guys familiar with Boomerang? Yeah. Yes, I am. Are any of you not? 
What? I was going to say, are any of you not familiar with Boomerang? Oh. All right. So let me check this up. Take this time uh, now. Take the. All right. So Boomerang is. Um, let me bring this over here. So Boomerang can be found on our hub. Um, come over here, little person. Okay. So Boomerang is essentially a postcard mailing um, that kind of gets into the subconscious of people. Um, what it is, is a postcard that gets sent out monthly or bi-monthly, whatever you choose. And you send it to your database. Um, I think it's like 89 cents a card um, and they mail it. Let me see. Come on. Yeah, eight or oh, eighty-seven cents uh, monthly. Bi-monthly, it's ninety-seven cents. Mailed, sixty-seven cents if you want to mail it. Zero setup fee. Um, what it is is they send, they pick offers within our area, and they send it to your uh, database. So uh, nothing but bunt cakes. They they give the clients little bunt cakes, free bunt cake. Um, there's enjoy an appetizer on us. I was just going through this and I don't know, have any of you guys eaten at Texas Roadhouse? Um, if not, you guys need to go there. We have one up in Minnesota and it is absolutely to die for. And this would be my choice. So what you do is you choose this. Um, oh, it's an upcoming offer. So what you do is you choose this your name and your comp company would go on here and on the back, it would be your photo um, and all of your information and it would get sent out to your database and it would get sent out and they would enjoy a free entree on you. And so that is a great way for you to be on top of mind um, and get into their subconscious. And so when they think of buying or selling, you would be at the top of mind because you are giving them something for free. Um, when I get something for free, obviously, I am going to want to thank you. And by thanking you, I'm going to return that favor and refer you or uh, think of you when I want to buy or sell. Um, so there are lots and lots of deals on here that you guys can choose from. Like I said, Texas Roadhouse, go try it. Jamba Juice, um, a lot of people love Jamba Juice. Um, there are, I don't know if we have this Bibby Bop, but you can pick and choose what you want. Um, to go ahead and send out uh, the Blooming Onion Outback. Here's more. Let me see if I can just choose one of these. I can't. Why can't I do this? Um, anyway. Let's go. Okay. So this is just showing you exactly what I just told you. You submit your info, um, you approve your proof, and then you wow your clients. You stay top of mind automatically each month, no contract, no long-term commitment, and then you can cancel any time. Um, each month, your client receives a full color postcard with special offers from your monthly business partner, and each card will be personalized. Here, this is what I was trying to show you, the back. Um, so it'll just show that it has the coupon, it shows that your picture and then compliments of and then your name and all of your information. Um, so this is a great way to stay top of mind. Um, pretty cheap. It is a minimum of 50. Um, so if you have 50, you know, of those really serious buyers or really serious sellers that you have um, on your database, this is probably where I would put them. I would do this. Um, another great thing is on my Facebook page, which I do need to get you guys more. I will work on it this week is I made, um, those recipes. Uh, let me see here. So if you go underneath my photos and then see all and then underneath the door droppers. And I have, yeah, I only have them for winter. So I'll make some more for the spring and stuff. Um, these are great as well as to get into the subconscious. Um, so these are um, 
obviously recipes. You put your information down here, put your business card down here, whatever you want. Um, and this is a perfect way to get into the subconscious. They're gonna hang this on their fridge. They're gonna put this in their um, recipe box. So every single time that they are going to make this apple pie, they are gonna see you. Um, or every time they bring this apple pie to a gathering. People are going to be like, oh, Aunt Susie, I absolutely love this pie. Where did you get the recipe? You know, I got this from, from Danny, uh, Wardley agent. He's, he, he sent it to me. Isn't that nice? Oh, absolutely. You know, so now that, that auntie just handed you down to, you know, nephew Jacob. And now Jacob is going to go and say, hey, I got this perfect recipe from Auntie Susie. He got it from... You know, I forgot the agent's name at Wardley Real Estate already, who I just referred to, crap. Um, but it is a great way to get into the subconscious. It's gonna be walking past the apple pie recipe constantly. This is a great, great piece that people are not gonna throw away. Um, because when you said mailers, at least me, when I see that it's just an informational uh, piece of paper, I throw it away. And I'm not going to lie. Um, but when I see it's a recipe, I'm going to save it. I'm going to put it on my fridge. Um, if it is a, um, let me see what's coming up. Baseballs right now. Uh, we don't have a professional baseball. Oh, aviators. Aviators just came out with their schedule, you guys. Um, so the Las Vegas aviators just came out with their schedule. Uh, hockey's just coming up um, again, I think. They just started a new schedule. Um, so those are great ways. Go get their schedules. Put your information on it. Send those out. Those are guaranteed not to get thrown away. They're going to go ahead and they are going to either, one, give them away to someone they know who follows baseball or hockey, or they're going to put them up on their own fridge. You guys are going to have those up on their fridges or someone else's fridge, and they're going to walk past those constantly. Look at the schedule and you're gonna get into their subconscious. So the next time either they think about buying or selling or when someone else thinks about buying or selling, your name is gonna just automatically come up without them thinking because you are deep, deep down into that water and it's just gonna automatically come up. And that is a great way to get into that subconscious. Um, so those are great ways. Um, another way is you guys have heard me say before, put 25 uh, business cards in your guys' pockets. You guys should be doing that every single day. Walmart, Target, wherever you guys go, a restaurant, and park 20 cars away, 25 cars away. And every single time you guys walk up to the door, you guys should be putting cards on the driver's windows. And they're not going to throw them on the ground when they get into their car. They're gonna one, put them in their pocket, they're gonna put them in their purse or they're gonna put them in their council of their car. Um, if they're like me, they have not cleaned their car in months. So they're gonna sit in that council of the car. Every single time they put their car in drive, park, they're gonna see your card. Whether or not they think they're reading it, they're reading it. So they're gonna constantly see your face, they're gonna see your name, they're gonna see your logo. So next time they hear someone want to buy or sell, they're automatically going to think of you. When they're saying, do you know a real estate agent? Actually, you know what I do? I know Nancy from Wardley Real Estate. And they're not going to know why they thought of you or whatever, but they're going to think of you. Um, I always tell the story of Joshua Montgomery. Um, Joshua Montgomery, I still have yet to meet him. He's never been on a Zoom of mine. He's, I've never, ever met him. He's from this office that I'm in at Summerlin. And he likes the crap out of everything of mine on my Facebook page. And Roger, who is our sales manager here at Wardley or at Summerlin, um, he is a pastor and Joshua Montgomery likes everything of his too. So I see Joshua Montgomery probably every other week. He goes on and just likes the crap out of both of our pages. And if I sat down 
knowing all of the agents that I do and I talk to on a regular basis, I have agents coming to my office talking to me daily. I have agents that I'm friends with. But if somebody came to me and asked me if I had a real estate agent who I would refer, my automatic response would be Joshua Montgomery. And I would, why? Because he's deep down in my subconscious because I see him all the time. He's always liking stuff on Facebook. He's always in front of my face. So that is another great way to get in people's subconscious is I constantly, I preach this all the time on my videos. I would love to see you guys go onto business pages um, that talk to customers all the time. Um, if you think of people who talk to customers all the time, hairdressers, uh, tattoo artists, um, even though I guess you don't even have to do ones that talk to customers, small boutiques, um, you have, you can go to find out who the recruiters are for the major, um, sporting places here. So the Nike, yeah, the Knights, do we have the Knights? Is there a Knights here? Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. I'm just checking. Um, Golden Knights, right? Yeah. Sorry. New. No, don't shoot me. Um, the Raiders and everything like that because they, they get traded. They're going to have to look for a real estate agent and go like everything of theirs. Just sit there and just like everything out of theirs. Do that. Pick four companies a month and just like the crap out of everything and you're going to get into their subconscious. So next time someone's tattooing someone and they talk about life, they talk about what's going on, who, you know, everything like that. When they're like, oh yeah, man, you know, trying to sell my house, you're automatically going to come up because they've been seeing you on their Facebook over and over and over and over again. It's trying to get into that subconscious. Um, that is just an amazing way to get into there because I know it because Joshua Montgomery got into mine and I don't know how to get him freaking out. He's in there and I need someone else to go on and like all my stuff so I can get him out. So go onto people's Facebook pages and just start doing that. You guys, um, divorce lawyers, divorce lawyers need real estate agents. You guys, go on to theirs and just start liking everything. I hate to say it. I hate because it's divorce, but I have a question, Nicole. Yeah. Um, okay. I finally went back on Facebook, kicking and screaming because I did not want to go on Facebook, but I did. So I put, I put the Matthew Rodriguez profile and then I did a Matthew Rodriguez real estate um, at Wardley Facebook page. Right. Is that how I did it? Is that, did I do it right? I don't have so, so then when I'm liking these other businesses, am I liking them from my business or is it from me? So I because the business. You. Okay. So when you go to a page, so you guys, I highly recommend following this page, Zillow Gone Wild. It is absolutely amazing. It's just, it's crazy how many of cool houses you see. Okay. Anyway. So say this is a business page, uh, Matt. So you go down here and you see this little circle. You're going to go here. And I'm going to go ahead and click my business page. And now I'm going to like it as my business page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So I can change from my personal page to my business page. So now I'm going to like it. So they're going to see that my business page liked it. Okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And if I wanted to like it as my business page and not my personal page, I would go up to these three dots up here and I would go as like as my page. And now since I have a lot, I would like as my page and submit. So now I like it as my page and not my personal page. Great. Right. Thanks. Yep. Any other questions with any of that, you guys? So that's also with commenting. So if you wanted to comment, 
So I would just go like that and then I would hit comment and it would show that I am commenting as Nicole corporate director of marketing instead of Nicole, oh, excuse me, um, as Nicole. So that would be, you know, so if I wanted to um, comment as Wardley Real Estate, whatever, then I could comment as that. So I would just move this little thing down of whoever I want to comment as. And then that way that business can go ahead and see that that's who you are commenting as. Question. Um, yeah. Can we, um, like, I've seen other um, real estate agent has a page like yours, right? Your yep. um, Facebook, right? How do we set one up? And can we set one up? Or are we have to wait until our license comes? You do have to wait until your license comes. Okay. Yes. Yep. But when you do, so you just go ahead and you go under, <clears throat> let me move these, you guys. Um, all you do is go under, just kidding. You go under pages here. How, how did mine go back to the old way? Did everybody's go back to the old way? I didn't even notice that ours went back to the old way. You go under- I don't even know the old way. <laughs> oh, so you go under plus here and you go to pages. Mm. And then this is how you create your page. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And so if you want, if you want step-by-step, step, you can go on my YouTube channel and I show you step-by-step step on how to do that. Okay. Which I didn't do. I didn't see your video before I went on. And so I didn't do, I didn't, I didn't name it correctly. I just named it Matthew Rodriguez, real estate, Las Vegas. But you said it has to be with Wardley or something. The Facebook, the business page has to have so I have Wardley all over it, but it's not in my name. Do I have to do another one? No, that's fine. Okay. No, you're fine. It's had the logos and everything all over it. So. Sorry, I'm looking at Facebook like you guys aren't even on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so another one is AdWorks. So AdWorks is um, kind of the creepy big brother of Facebook or of um the internet. So when you guys are searching for those like pair of shoes or that gun or whatever it is, and then all of a sudden it shows up everywhere, no matter what page you're on, it's like following you everywhere. Um, Warby Real Estate has this thing called AdWorks. And so I am just going to play a little video on what AdWorks does for you guys. I'm not going to go into detail about it because that is something that your guys is, um, um, managers and um, brokers now do, um, but it's kind of cool on what it does. Um, so you pick, so you pick what house that you guys want, and then you pick the zip code, and it follows them around um, everywhere that everywhere it goes. And so, like if they're on YouTube and they were looking at that house, it's gonna follow. Or if they're in that zip code, sorry, my mouse has static on it. Um, it would even show up over here on YouTube, um, no matter where they're going. If it was in Google, Facebook, um, just a regular website, it would show up. And so it's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy. Um, but here's just a little video, just a quick one minute video on it. Real estate agents, did you know that 70% of sellers interview only one agent? That's why it's critical to stay top of mind in your local area. Some agents have done this with newspaper or postcard ads. The newspaper readership has plummeted and most people go through their mail over the wastebasket because these days people spend all their time in front of screens. That's why internet advertising is growing so fast. Big brands have figured out the secret to using this kind of technology. Have you ever looked at a product online and then noticed ads from that company following you around the web? Whether you find it creepy or cool, it's very effective. AdWorks brings this powerful big brand marketing to you, the real estate agent. With AdWorks, you can create ads that follow local prospects around Facebook and the web, reinforcing your brand and your name to people that are entering the market to buy or sell a house. Best of all, it's extremely affordable. This type of technology actually costs less than newspaper ads or postcards. Simply visit AdWorks.com and tell us who you are. We'll build your ads and you choose the zip codes you want to target. 
But hurry, zip codes are limited. Claim yours before your competitors do. All right. So I think that that's a pretty cool tool that we have. Um, and I think that uh, Warby pays for your ad works if it's, I want to say $450,000 house or below. Um, don't quote me on that though. Do ask your broker on that. Um, I think it's more like 275. Ah, oh, perfect. There you go. I was and then get it for a week. In a week. Okay. Okay. For one week. I never got mine. Oh. It was supposed to, it was supposed to come up and I was like, do I reach out to them? Do they reach out to me? And then I was told, um, it could take them a few days to reach out to me. Yeah. And by then it was sold. So oh. like, well, at least it sold. Yeah. But just but everybody still. know that um, you have to be assertive with it, I think. At least in the curve you do. <laughs> Sorry, that stinks. Okay. Well, yeah, we, so it's 275 for one week that uh, Wardley Real Estates will, will cover it. Um, apparently at the curve, you have to be more assertive. Um, hopefully at all the other offices, you don't have to be. Um, if not, um, the curve, just go ahead and get a whip and whip Brian and tell him to get on it. Um, but other than that, um, do you guys have any questions about any other any other subconscious type of marketing or anything like that? No? This one was under an hour, you guys. Holy bejesus. It was a lot of information. It was good though. Okay, good, good. I don't think I've ever had a Zoom under an hour. That is ridiculous. All right. Well, I am glad you guys got a lot of information and um, I am hoping that you guys got um, some takeaways from this and you guys are able to use some of this. I will, um, over the course of the week, get some new um, 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 recipes up on my Facebook page and some more of those subconscious things up on my Facebook page that you guys can go ahead and use as well. Um, if you guys are not into the whole boomerang thing, um, because I know that a lot of you newer agents are on a budget marketing budget and things like that. So I kind of like to help you guys out as much as possible and try to create a lot of free things for you guys on my Facebook page. Um, so I will work hard on getting those up for you guys by Friday. So you guys can start sending those out as well, um, because that is a great way to get into the subconscious. Um, I highly recommend all of you guys um, starting to like the business pages and starting to like all of their, um, even if you don't like some of their stuff, like if some tattoo artist gave a really horrible tattoo, still comment on it and say, hey, that's cool. Um, just because it's, it's getting your name out there. Um, so, so I highly recommend you guys doing that because it will work. I promise you it will work because Joshua Montgomery is working in my head and it's ridiculous. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. Um, Can I ask a question then? Yeah. Um, so, so there's a video then on your YouTube page that it, it shows us how to take the ads from your Facebook page and put them onto ours? Or do we just share them or something like that? Do we just go on your Facebook page and then we just share them to our um, business no, page? Or is well, there a, a video well, on how to do that? Well, I can show you right now. So what you do is you just go to my photos. Okay, and then so say you want to go ahead and use this recipe here. So what you can do is you can right click and you can save the image because you don't want to, when you share it from mine, it's going to show on your Facebook page that you shared from Nicole Warby, Director of Marketing. And so you don't want to show your clients that you shared from me. You want to show that you, you created it yourself. 
Um, so you're going to go ahead and you're just going to save it to you. So you're going to save. And then you're going to go back to your Facebook. Oh, not there. And then you're going to create the post and then you're going to pull it up. And then now you're going to type something about it. But so I don't get to put my logo there on the bottom left. You though. can. Yep. Yep. So then if you want to put that, then go to, I highly recommend getting Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, get Canva. Canva is absolutely free. And that's where I do everything. That's where I do my, my marketing or my um, market snapshots and everything like that. Um, like I said, it is free. So what you do is you just go and you go here, you just go to um, a Facebook post. Gosh, my mouse really stinks today. We're going to create a new one. And then we're going to upload it. And then we're just going to drag it over. Back. Okay. We're going to have to resize it. We really can't do this till we have our license, though. I mean, we can't put any Wordly on our page yet. Right. 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 So this would just be, so say I resized it. I don't want to take all that time while you guys are here. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to find your picture. Um, we're just going to use, let me see, picture, 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 picture. Where's the picture of a real estate agent? Here we go. Just going to put a picture there, your picture. You just inserted that picture? Is that what you did? Yep. Yep, that was so cool. I, okay. All right. Yep, I see. Yep. So I just found the picture and then you just, you just drag it over. Oh, not there. You just drag it over and then you size it and then you can go ahead and put all your information. Cool. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. If I would like to print this out and uh, mail it, do I have to, can I like roll it up like a little scroll, put a bow on it and hand deliver it to a mailbox or it has to have a stamp and to be no. delivered? No, you can door drop them. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So all then you do is just go ahead and you download it as a JPEG and you download it to your computer and then you can print it. Okay, cool. Yeah. I have a comment on that. Yeah. Um, so um, it's okay to go uh, drop it off um, as uh, door hangers, for example, but I've heard it's illegal to put them in people's mailboxes. Uh, yes. You cannot put them in mailboxes. I'm sorry. Aren't all mailboxes locked anyway in Vegas? Not all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, put them in the put them in door droppers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions on Canva while we're in here? Yes. So what do you use now? So what is Canva exactly? It's a bunch of templates then? Is that what it is? Or Canva is the most amazing thing that you will ever, ever come upon. It will rock your world, Matt. Um, rock me is, then. <laughs> uh, yes, it is absolutely full of templates. This is where I do every single one of my presentations that you see um, at the beginning of every single one of my classes. You can make posters, postcards, Instagram posts. You can make anything and everything. Um, so if you go to like real estate, it is going to pop up with uh, just sold, just listed. Um, so tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, let me just go just listed just once. Maybe it's not pulling it up. There we go. Just listed. So here's your just listed. Um, so all you have to do is just pull one of these up. Say, I like this. They pull up as a postcard, but you can delete this. And then we go ahead and we can upload a photo of the house that we just listed. So say this is the house, we just pull it in there. And there we go, we change it, we change this, we change the price, 
everything like that, and then we download it. And it's um, all just for free. Yeah, yeah, I just downloaded it too. Yes. Wow, oh my yes. gosh, that is so cool. Um, there are some stuff that does cost, um, like the photos, like stock photos here. Most of it costs money um, and videos, most of it costs money. Um, but everything that I just showed you is free. Can yes. we use the Wardley one? Like say that Wardley logo? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They're all found on the hub. So when you go onto the hub, those Wardley logos are on there. Yep. Yep. Um, Matt, another one is poster my wall. So you go to poster my wall and this is another free one. Um, this is even, I like this one as well. So you go to real estate, create a design. If I spell real estate right. This is free too. Um, so you click on image because these little moving one costs money. So you see these. If you click image, these are all going to be free. So every single one of these are going to be free. So now you can create a, a flyer. Um, if you want an open house flyer, if you want just a flyer for your listing, um, if you just want to do a flyer for yourself, um, anything like that, these are absolutely free. Um, they just go on and on. There's like 2,700 of them. So yeah, so you just go ahead and you pick one, customize template, and then you want to replace this. So you just click on it, hit replace. We're going to find a house, replace the photo. We're going to crop it the way we want it and then it's automatically then it goes in there and then every same with all of these click on it hit replace and it goes in there and then all you do is just change change the information change your photo and voila it's done that is so cool i can't even believe it oh my god i know i know yep and all of this is for free the only thing that is going to happen with with this is Right down here, it's going to say created by poster my wall. All I recommend you guys doing is moving things up. And then when you download it, go into your file. And when you pull it up, so then just open it up. And then um, go into here. And then you just crop it out. So then just bring it up a little bit and crop out that poster my wall down here and then you don't see it. So that's all it's going to do, which is super easy. Um, Cause it's just going to do a little watermark and just take that off. Other than that, it's, they look super professional and absolutely amazing. So write that down folks. All right. Any other questions before I let you guys go? I know it's an hour, for guys. An hour. We had to keep you for an hour. Because right? An that's hour. why I just, <laughs> right? I just said, I'm like, now I'm at an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. See you around. Thank you, Nicole. Have You're a good welcome. day. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.